Well, on this Father's Day, now we turn to a sweet story about one man's unlikely quest to see his father who passed when he was just a boy. It's, uh, it's been his obsession ever since, inspired by Albert Einstein's science and H.G. Wells' science fiction. Here's John Berman. For some, the idea of time travel is about fantasy. For others, it's science. But for Ronald Mallett, it was love. A son's love for a father. His lifelong mission? To build a time machine to save my father's life and see him again. His father died when he was just 10. I just, I just uh, worshipped him. Mallett told no one of his plan. I was stupid enough to realize that if I told him I wanted to build a time machine, I might not want to deal with the consequences. People might think he was crazy. People might think he was crazy even after he worked his way to a job as a tenured physicist at the University of Connecticut. But it's not a secret anymore because of something really crazy. He thinks he's come up with a way to do it. If you bring a clock close to a black hole, time will slow down. It's complicated, but not crazy, say other scientists. Einstein theorized that space and time are linked, and gravity can bend time just like it bends space. Mallet believes if he can create a gravitational swirl, a whirlpool, he can actually twist space and time. So, if I'm twisting space violently enough, ultimately what will happen is, is that that timeline will get twisted into a loop. Think of the loop like a time tunnel, where Mallet thinks maybe we might be able to move back and forth. This is a model of his time machine. He'll use crisscrossing lasers to create his time tunnel. But even if Mallet builds his time machine and proves his theory, there is one major limitation. If I turn the, it on to that, eventually a human time machine was built. They could come back to the point the machine was turned on. You couldn't go back before then, so Mallet could never go back to 1955 to see his father. But he's certain his father would be proud. For Good Morning America, John Berman, ABC News, Stores, Connecticut.